Good morning, PA Figs here. This is a quick video on how I store fig trees in the winter. So this is my garage, and as you can see, there are fig trees pretty much everywhere. It takes up one side of my entire garage, and uh, store several here. And what I can tell you is, every month or so, I come in here with a pitcher of water, a pitcher of water, and I will actually come in and give each tree, I don't know, a little more than a cup of water. So I'll go around for every tree and give it water, just like that. Not a lot, just enough to give it a little bit of a drink. You don't want to get it too wet. If you get it too wet, it'll get rot. So you really just want to give it you know, a cup or so. Maybe a little bit more for some of the larger trees. Just enough to allow them to take a bit of a drink during the winter and not uh, not dry out. That's really all they need. That's it. So I'll get the rest of these trees. Just wanted to show everybody. Uh, now would be a good time to take cuttings as well. And uh, if you can keep them off of the floor, like those on the shelves, they tend to do a little bit better, and then when the spring comes, you'll have the problem in here, and you'll see that I, I have no windows in here, which helps, but for those of you that have windows in their garage, the light, once you get to spring, will actually cause your fig trees to start to um, bud out, and then you got to you know, decide if you're going to pull them out and take a chance of the frost, or if you're going to leave them in and get spindly growth that's likely to get burnt as soon as you bring it out into the, uh, the regular sun. So it's just an attached garage. I will leave the, if you look at the door, on cold days, I mean it's been you know, single digits, I will leave that door cracked. Just to let a little bit of heat in here to keep it a little bit above freezing if possible. But they tend to do pretty well. I, I do lose one or two a year sometimes, especially smaller trees. They tend to uh, dry out faster I think and I don't always get them you know, watered quick enough. But uh, yeah, this is it, nothing special. A lot of people in the Northeast want to know what to do with their fig trees in the winter, and you know, I just cram them into the garage here, give them a little bit of water once in a while, and that's it. And they're ready for next year and ready to take off. Um, I like to take cuttings in the spring and the fall. The fall, I take them so that they fit in here, and I didn't do a very good job of it this year. In the spring, that is a better time to take them because you can see what die off you had. You know, if you had two branches on your fig tree and uh, you take the cuttings in the fall, now you only have one branch. If that branch dies over the winter, you know, now you don't have much left to your fig tree. So taking the cuttings in the spring allows you to see what may have died off over the winter and allows you to make a better decision on how you want your tree to be shaped. So just a few points, a few tips. Feel free to ask any questions you have on uh, how to store for the winter and I'll do my best to get back to you. And Hopefully this winter will be a uh, short one, but boy, it's set in pretty good right now. So. Hoping for a warm spell and I'm waiting for March. I hope you're all staying warm and uh, Happy New Year. I'm PA Figs. Catch you later.